Hi, so I'd like to talk to you today about a new thing for us. Uh, it is called Sterling $2 a gram. Okay, so in the very beginning, uh, when my grandfather started this business, he had a table where everything was $5, all the sterling, and he let people pick through it and they really enjoyed it. And we've always had some sort of a table like that. Um, it went from, um, you know, $5 to um, $49 um, and um, everything in between. And so, um, so what happened recently, it was um, August of last year, we had a customer who we had dealt with for many, many years. And we bought from him and we sold to him and we enjoyed his company and he enjoyed us. And he really had a good relationship with my daughters. Anyway, I got a call from his daughter that he passed away. <clears throat> and he lived um, in California, Sacramento. And she said, you should come out here and take a look at what he's got. And so, um, he, and in his will, he said he wanted to sell his collection to Phil from Anti Cupboard. So I went out there with David, and he had a storage locker that was filled with silver. We estimated it to be 103,000 pieces. We did not buy all of it. We did buy the majority of it. He pick things that you don't find today, um, unusual things. For example, he had 500 souvenir spoons with Indians on them. He loved things with fruit. So he had um, all this fruit of the month spoons and other items. He loved little serving pieces um, and we did too. And so uh, we bought, as I say, the majority of the collection. We drove it back. To Wisconsin <clears throat> and generally what we would do is with a collection we would just um, inventory it, price it, picture it, put it on our website. But this was very daunting and I didn't think we could do that with this group. It would, would just take a year to do all this work. So I thought why don't we do um, a table with all these items. And so we we got the items, we decided the price should be $2 a gram, and we just put it out. And um, it the results were amazing. Um, we did shows in Nashville, Atlanta, Wisconsin, um, Miami Beach, Birmingham, and people just loved digging through there and finding their favorite things. At a recent show, a woman found um, two um, spoons with an Art Nouveau woman on them. And they were priced, when you threw them on the scale, at $35 a piece. But she said, I've been looking for these spoons um, on eBay they sell for $195. And so how can you sell them for that? Well, we bought well, and we're not looking to make the last dollar on it. And so um, it works for everyone. We make a profit, and they get to dig through and find supposed treasures. Um, we've added a bit to it. One major addition was um, I got a call from a woman who had a collection of 200 plus um, napkin rings and we bought the collection and we put it on the table. People loved the napkin rings too. So some of the things that um, are on the table, I, I bought a, brought a little um, group. So out of the many thousands of pieces on this table, I just picked out a few representative pieces to let you know exactly what kind of things were selling. So here's like a little uh, vase that's uh, Indian from India. Uh, there's many 
of tea strainers of various types. Uh, this one's kind of neat because it's all hand hammered. Um, as I said, napkin rings, very pretty, hand done napkin rings. Uh, there's a, a bunch of baby cups. Um, these sipper straws, uh, there were a lot of these and there still is, um, although I'd say we've sold hundreds. Um, let's see, these little forks with the um, lilies of the valley on them are, are great looking. Um, here's a little business card tray. Um, here's a really good looking um, um, butter pat with great work on it. Um, here's a interesting tea ball. Um, the um, liquor labels have been very popular. Um, little nut spoons are very popular. Uh, here's uh, a, a Jensen piece with enamel on it. And then there's lots and lots of really interesting souvenir spoons. Um, so it's, it's just a big conglomeration of really cool stuff. And um, this weekend, we're going to Scott's Antique Market. Um, in a few weeks, we're going to a show in Wisconsin. Then we're going to Birmingham. And then we're going to Round Top. So if you're in any of those areas, um, come see us. The, the crowds are pretty amazing. They have the little show that we did in Wisconsin. Um, people were crowded up to the table. And then um, one of my daughter's friends came to, to take a look. And she said, I couldn't get anywhere near that table. And so um, uh, people would uh, be by the table and then they would um, move slightly away and then someone else would take their spot. Um, I have a few pictures of the um, people from the, a recent show uh, showing the crowds that surround these tables. So anyway, it's a lot of fun for us and it's a lot of fun for the people. Thank you.